Hello and welcome to round 27 of the Nations Cup. This round is from Special Stage Route X. You saw there briefly uh, after a successful qualifying um, qualified fourth in this race, slipstreaming essential. Yeah, so slipstreaming and kind of almost working together, really, work essential in this uh, long oval track. Uh, it's nine miles up and down with a banked curve at each end. One of the straights has an incline and decline, or a hill, if you will. Um, so here we are, starting off in fourth, auto drive uh, for these rolling starts as always, and we're off. So I say it's essential to slipstream, it's essential to even maybe try and work together with uh, the other racers um, to get the best results for you and them. But it's not about being first off the line, it's not about being the leader through the races it's really being amongst right, the, the top party the top pack coming off the last corner getting a good exit getting good slipstream and taking it on the line really so it's a fairly boring race which skipped qualifying um although it's only a fairly short race as well. it's only nine minutes long for both these laps in total um so you can see i got a fairly well, well off from the start I actually thought this start was a standing start and I had my foot on the brake for a little while but then I quickly realised, fortunately realised quick enough that it wasn't and got away well with the leading pack. You can see almost now the, the top 12 have started to slowly edge away although if the back lot start to work together they could easily catch up as well. In fact there you go, we're all pretty much all together. Just spread out a little bit and too hard if you like. So this is the first hill on one of the straights I was talking about. Now racing on your own, with no one around, you're not slipstreaming. Your top speed of the uh, the Ferrari 458, that most of us are using, is 253. And coming up the hill, you usually drop down to about 247-ish. So working together can really increase your speed, both up and down the hill. As we come to the first banked bend, so we've all got to try and find a spot and try and keep it nice and smooth now I'm on my wheel that's easier with me I mean you can see I'm sticking to that middle lane while others are kind of hustling and bustling around me but still that's a nice sight to all the sea of us all going around there 250 miles an hour all tightly packed but respecting each other's space now if it can stay like that I'll race this will be a great result see I've lost first but it doesn't matter to, you almost ooh, a little bit of hustle and bustle on the exit but you almost don't want to be going into that final corner first you almost want to be going in there just outside the kind of the leading pack so you can gain from there holding the air through that final corner so we're doing well we need to stay with this leading pack up the straight which is let's say relatively easy you just go stay in a straight line really but stay behind others and actually when i say working together you're actually almost pushing them along. You might just see in a couple of these shots, you just literally just run into the back of the one behind you gently. It pushes him forward. It gives you another gap to then speed into. Nudge him again. Another gap to speed into. So you really are literally deliberate contact, but it's got to be a straight on contact. Otherwise, you'll spin somebody out. But yeah, straight right behind like I am there. Or like he is behind me. Sorry, I forgot I actually in the lead. That surprised me a bit there. The white Ferrari 458 Italia and with STOJ Meridino from Germany behind pushing me down the straight and heading towards the second bank corner of the lap to complete lap one let's hope it's as clean as the first corner as we head under the uh, buildings there into the dark and exit outside still in the dark this race was set at around about 10 o'clock in the evening. So, here we go. Pick a spot. Keep it clean. 
through the corner. Now there we go, I've got my favoured middle line again. Now, there you go, I can see me down there, keeping it nice and smooth in that lane. Well, a little nudge from Cyber Killer in the outside lane. This guy's come all the way from the top to the bottom, and there, he, oh, he nudged me. Now at 250 mile an hour, a nudge in the rear has really caused problems. You can just see me making out up and down the track. Others collide. Up, oh, ah, oh, oh, no, there I go in the air. Oh my word, that was so close to just being the end of my race. Fortunately, I landed right way down. Lost an awful lot of speed, momentum. Which is why Mad Max is coming past me. And I'm still nowhere near top speed. I'm 50 miles off top speed, which means two more pass. That was calamitous, disastrous, and all from a little nudge in the rear corner. 250 miles an hour on, on a bank corner. And if you just overcorrect just a tiny bit, you have to overcorrect the other way, and it can just all, oh, just all go to pot. You, you contact others. Others contact others, and the, before you know it, we've all spun off. Um, so fortunately, um, there's a big gap down to the back 10, the back half of the field. So that's where I am. I'm at the back half, the back back of this front half of the field in 10th. So we've got 7th and 8th away bit up the road, and we've got 6th even further up the road on them. So can we, working together, these two of us, can we claw anything back? Now you can't talk to the drivers, so unless he's had practice of doing this and knows what I'm doing, which it looks like he does, I've just lit a little tap up the back there, so he's not moving out the way, he's not thinking, what's he doing? We're working together now, and to do that, you can see we're coming up to six, seven, so we're, we're good 14 miles an hour faster than you are on your own. And if the others aren't working together, then we will slowly close up again. But I was expecting after that, well, first three quarters of the lap before that second bank bend. I was really hoping for a top four finish after that great start. But it's not to be. So what can I get back from here? So we're coming to the first corner on lap two. So there you go. You can't really easily slipstream around a corner because the, you, you really do. It, it squashes you into ground. You're banking around the corner in, in your line. And you've done it all the way up straight and you've got a lot more excess speed than the guy in front so you've got to dip down pull in front as i've done there and up into ninth but again it's not about where you are now it's about where i come off the final next corner see i'm even coming past eighth and seventh so we've caught up seventh and eighth we're all now racing together those four they're battling for seventh now these, these four were fighting for seventh place and they're just going to your screen on the right was sixth place i believe STO Jay Meridino who was with me at the start so is there any chance we can catch up sixth and get something respectable out of this race so positions amongst the four of us will change no doubt as we all take it in turns or slipstream and then pass each other so don't worry if you see me dropping down into 10th like I am there because it means we've got the whole straight and the more cars there are in a line, the faster the one at the back can get, well, you can all go together, but it means the fact the one at the back has so much more in reserve. Because he's not having to put his foot all the way to the floor to get those same speeds, because the hole in the air is being punched by the cars in front. And there you go, we're almost three, four in a line there. One, two, three, yeah. So X Kim has just pulled out from wherever he was sitting. And obviously if you pull out your, your line, you then have to, the full force of the wind wind, uh, wind in your face so he has to now tuck in behind again up to ninth and that yellow yellow Ferrari of I'm guessing it's STO yep yeah, STO J Meridino in Germany up in sixth and we are slowly catching so we're coming to the final bend let's hope we can keep this one clean yeah, in fact there you go now we're all fifth together all these five six to tenth places together so where can we all come out of this Well, let's hope we don't have a little tap and spin anyone out of control here we're going into the bank corner in ninth we're right behind mad max We've got a bit of a slipstream through the corner which should help us propel us on exit there you go so what's happening now come on Mexican behind us still right there this is anybody's it's only we're only battling for sixth but this is anybody's now 
the yellow one weaving about a little bit Mad Max up there on the outside I believe so coming off there in eighth now those three oh, one's pushed oh one's pushed right into the barriers there not even going to finish the race and there we are in seventh and there's no final screen there's no shot of me with the car because I forgot to record the in-car footage but that's my race over seventh could have done a lot better but I've got 32 points for that race um, with some B drivers amongst there as well so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time